We're going to take a look at the colour panel and swatches panel in Affinity Designer now. So the colour panel is great for applying colours directly to selected objects and the swatches panel is kind of an accompaniment to the colour panel which allows you to manage colours and store them in different palettes for future use. Okay, so we're just going to demonstrate the application and storage of colour uh, using the colour and swatches panels. So in this example, we're going to focus on this particular tree shape in the top right. So I'll just zoom into that to the selection. And this colour has a turquoise fill and a pink stroke around it. And this is represented in the colour panel by these two colour selectors. So currently the fill, which is the solid round colour selector, uh, is currently set to this uh, blue colour and that's the active colour. So if I change the colour here, you can see that the fill changes. Now if we swap to make the but this background uh, stroke selector active just by clicking I can then change the colour here and you can see on the page that these are changing quite strongly now if I wanted to I could remove the colour from the fill by clicking this option here I'll just do an undo there and equally, if I made the stroke active, I could remove the colour of the stroke. And I'll just do an undo to get back to where we were. Another feature of this colour panel is this colour pick. And this allows me to quickly just drag onto the page and just pick up a colour from uh, another chosen area or another chosen shape. Um, and once I've done that, you see that this uh, swatch was updated. I'll just show you that again. Say so we pick up this uh, mustard colour, and you'll see that changes this particular swatch here. Now this is clickable, so when I click it, uh, it will update the stroke. And you can see that change there. From panel preferences, the colour panel also offers a different uh, series of sliders that you can apply in different colour models, RGB, HSL, CMYK, Lab and Grayscale. So, for instance, with uh, CMYK, I could apply my CMYK colours. And I'll just go back to the HSL wheel. Just to undo back to the original colours. So let's look at the swatches panel. So the swatches panel has the same colour selectors as the colour panel. They work exactly the same uh, uh, between the two. But this panel is all about being able to store and to save colours to different palettes. So we'll just do that now. So with the swatches panel enabled, I can go to panel preferences and I can select add document palette. This creates an unnamed palette which can be named. And from there, I'll be able to just save these colours that I've uh, used previously to the document palette. So I can click add current filter palette and I can make the fill active and save the fill using the blue as well. From the panel preferences I'll also be able to create global colours which are link colours so that when I apply a colour to lots of different objects if I make that colour initially global, any change to it in the future will be made across all of those objects via linking. I'll also be able to add application palettes and system palettes and a few extra options down here. I'll be able to create a palette from image which allows you to generate a palette from any selected bitmap, say a photo etc. And if I wanted to I can import a palette from another user. If, if they saved a document palette um, I can import it and use it myself or export my own document palette for another user to use. 